do have to be present. Uh, you have your rig pumped out, and we've paid for it. Actually, we've paid for it. So, my There you go. You got Tim on there. There we go. We got some more of This is the one that we're. Hi. To the left of Grand Teton is a little, a little peak called Disappointment Peak. And then the one um, gotcha. kind of curved one to the right, the one that's got the You guys are okay with that? Pardon? You all guys are okay with this? Oh, sure. It's an x-ray lens. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to sign a release for that motion? Yeah. Well, I shake some. Gotcha.
Cheryl Dean Lucas came out here. Um, she went to school in Ohio at Oberlin University and then moved out here after retiring from, from teaching. Um, her two brothers and sisters, a sister also moved to the valley. They had ranches further to the south, um, Spring Gulch, which is you, you guys all remember that roundabout that you came through? So that's kind of to the west of there is the Spring Gulch area. So that was the location of her brother's, one of her brother's ranches. Wow. And I believe the other brother and sister were kind of in that same location. Um, Geraldine was a real persnickety, like strong gal. Um, and she spent all of her retirement until she passed away here living in this beautiful homestead year round. Um, she initially got uh, parts the parts of place. Oh, 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 but you know, we'll we'll talk to him. It's my husband. Yeah. No, you can sit here. There we go. Guys, welcome to the Snake River. Thank you. My name is Will. Stoked you guys are out here with me this morning. It's a beautiful day out here on the river. Uh, we're gonna go seven miles down the river this morning. I'll just sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have along the way. Uh, I'll be pointing stuff out, talking about some stuff as we're cruising through. Uh, but y'all just sit back. Is it right now that Right one, above that blue right above raft, the blue where the raft. casting. Yeah, I see it. Is that a different? Uh, and then we've got another one a little further down that we're going to get a better view of. Yeah. Beautiful woods right here. Oh, yeah. That's a marmot oh, right there. That's a marmot? That brown little furry critter. Yeah. He's just going to stop on the rock. He'll keep running like that. They look like little baby beavers. Don't so we have beavers here too? Yeah, we do. Um, and it's, yeah, they're really tiny. I was really surprised at how small they are. That's another eagle right here, kind of right on the. Yeah, I see him. The br branch sticking out. Oh, yeah? See him? I think so. I see him white, but I don't get too sure about Yeah. Yeah, oh, we got quite a few down the line. About to go past one of the nets. How do you see him? Right here. This one. He's standing right out on the edge. Okay, I see him. A couple of them in there right now. Yeah. And that one on the left, you can see his head, but yeah. it doesn't have the white head. So the eagles, they're, when they're young, they're considered juveniles until they're about five years old. Oh. And until then, they that's are a much, they're, that's a juvenile there on the left. You can see he doesn't have his white head. He yeah. sticks it up there. Mm -hmm. They turn gray like me. Yeah. <laughs> well, they start gray. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, so they're that color, so they're about five. And it's, they kind of have baby feathers. You know? Sort of how humans have baby teeth.
Nice float wave. There we go. Thank you guys. Great tour, buddy. Hey, thank you very yeah, much, sir. I appreciate it. Have fun. Anyway. How'd you do? Yeah. You know, you didn't finish. That's a good one. There we go. Let me get a close up of that. There we go. Um. <laughs> First into our rodeo arena, ladies and gentlemen, our Teton Valley Fair and Rodeo Queen for 2021, the lovely Lily Wilcox. My little buddy Lily Pops. Lily is a 16 year old daughter of Brock and Michelle Wilcox. Lily's academic achievements include straight A's, being inducted to national. Honor Society and a Teton High School cheerleader with his favorite music is all country, especially Cash, Haggard, Willie, and Waylon. Yeah. Lily wears a crown so she can be a positive role model for the flag. That's the way I feel about it anyway. Packing our Teton Valley Rodeo Company flag, Miss Bailey Hillman. Right there. Right behind her, the great flag of the state of Idaho. Miss Sydney yeah. Mitchell and RJ. Back in the flag of the great state of Idaho. Thank you. All right, as they come in the line, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you that grand old lady. Ladies and gentlemen, the stars and stripes. This uh, beautiful flag represents all of freedom and we're proud to have her. So if you please rise, bury your heads and cover your hearts as we pay tribute to the great and glorious country that we live in with our number one song, our national anthem. And we love to hear you sing it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Miss Kaylee Benko and our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight So gal 
Mr. Travis Angel, the sun shining in my eyes. Who's our other one? Mr. Jaron Park. It's their job to keep the Cowboys safe down the ground. Rodeo fans, look at this. Wrong cry, Cowboy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, didn't make it a full eight seconds. How about a nice round of applause for Traven Power? Sponsored by Chad and Tammy Saxe. They're coming out of. Nope, we're actually at shoot one. The bareback steer ride. Look at this. Yeah! I have on my rodeo. Oh, Mr. Nate Baldwin. And. Competed for the world championship, was a national champion. So, yeah. It's a Dodge National Circuit Finals Rodeo on Book Dodge. Okay. Super duper, super. This is Emily. What a beautiful Emily. 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 Thank you. It has an E on the end. It's got me. Must be new though. Meet up at the bar, right? We were told that C CBD was not allowed. Wow. CBD products were not allowed. Yeah. So I think I, I don't think it's legal. We liked it so much the right over. Yeah. Driving the official is not legal. Camping there. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Got you guys. The hey. time, huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what we're signing, but.
Here we go. We got the float wave. Yes. There we go. A butterfly landed on our, on our kayak. It's your float thing, right? You don't, am I going the wrong direction? Did you see the fish in the water? Yeah. There's some beauties in there. And they, there were many of them. Almost like a school. Llamas. Alpacas or alpacas. We won't hold on to your hat as we're going across. It does get a little bit warm sometimes. Give you a little bit more info about the trails once we get to the other side, but until then, just enjoy the ride. <laughs> ride back on the on the boat to hike back to where we're parked and that's about a two and a half mile hike on this trail. There is our shuttle, obviously left without us. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Water is turquoise. Glacier fed.
good water, huh? Must be too late for Sunday night. Okay. You want to go in? Yeah. So that's a cool shot.